know what to say to Ellen. She thinks Royce is a real prince of a guy. Yeah, a prince with a secret sister. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And Emily. Emily seems to have blinders on where he's concerned. Well, she must have been thrown to find out that they were related. Everybody was thrown. But if she's having any second thoughts about marrying him, she hasn't let on. Hmm. I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I, I have tremendous compassion for what he's going through. It must be terrible to lose someone you love like that. But I don't want Emily to make another mistake. <laughs> Good luck. Look who just came to find me in Ivor's office. Hi, Hi honey. How's Royce doing? Actually, he insisted on going to work today. Hmm. Maybe it's the best place for him right now. Yeah. Listen, Graham, I'm sorry I didn't come to see you sooner. Oh, sweetheart, please don't apologize. I understand. I just wanted you to know that I, I was concerned about you. Well, when we talked on the phone, I didn't feel right somehow telling you this, but, um, Royce and I are engaged. Wonderful. Oh, honey, I know things are really hard on both of you right now, but in time, things will get better, and the important thing is you've got each other. Yeah. Oh. Emily. Hi. I was shocked to hear about Neil. Yeah. Yes. I suppose you had no idea that Neil was Royce's sister. He, he must be suffering. Yes, he is. I would imagine Lucinda's reeling, too. She'd become very close to Neil. No, just keep pushing. The bottom line is Cal has every right to drill on that land. The Indians are just trying to wear us down. So keep after them. Fine. I take it there's been no progress on getting the legal go-ahead to drill on Navajo land. It's not Navajo land, it's Stricco land. We bought it fair and square. I'm going to see to it that Cal can do whatever he wants with his own property. Where's Emily? Oh, she left to have lunch with the grandmother. Listen, Evan and I are having lunch with Damien Grimaldi in the executive dining room if you want to join us. Great, I'd like that. So I guess you haven't heard anything about Scott Eldridge? No. I talked to Marlowe over at the City Times and I had him downplay the story as much as possible, but nothing's coming yet. Excuse me? Yeah, Jane. <clears throat> Great, thanks. If you'll excuse me, Mrs. Cal. Uh, just take Damien down. I'll be down in just a minute. Got it. Hi there. I was hoping I'd get to talk to you. I miss you like crazy. Well, I'm glad you stopped by. I've been calling all over the neighborhood trying to find you. I was starting to worry. I'm okay. Uh, I paid Lucy a, a little call. Did you? What for? I wanted to see if maybe there was something that she had forgotten. Something that maybe Scott had told her back when they were close. So it would be maybe a, a clue where he might be. So, any luck? No. It's funny. She was kind. Look, I've been thinking, um, I, I would like to hire a, a private detective to maybe find him. Mom, uh, why don't you just let the police have a chance before you start throwing your money around? I don't care about the money. I know. I want to find my son. I know you don't. Let the police have a chance, Mom. Come on. Mom, please. Please. Okay. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. How about some lunch? Uh, no, I don't want lunch. I have a favor. Please. Sure, what? Would you go to Alva? I want you to be there with your wife when Hal and Barbara get married this afternoon. Ryan, you know what? Please. It's a good idea, bad timing. I got a lot of work to do. Well, wait. Now, just to hell with your work. You've got a wife who needs you, Tom. Mom, I have a wife who needs space, and that's exactly what I'm going to give her besides. It is too late, and I'd never make it on time. That's not true. It's not even one o'clock. And I happen to know that there is a plane that will get you to Lexington on time because I checked it out. Tom, you talk about space. You want to give Margot space? There's too much space between everybody right now. There's space between me and Scott. There's, there's space between Royce and his sister and Scott is gone and, and Neil is dead. You just, you just go and be with your wife. The woman you love so much, now go. So, what do you think? About what? It's for my honeymoon. I just put together my trousseau. Do you like it? That is so okay. And so okay. 
from you is a rather terrific thing. You look gorgeous. <laughs> I'm very happy. <laughs> I'm sorry I gave you such a hard time about keeping our secret so long. You were right. It all worked out. I was stupid. <laughs> I was worried one of us would get hurt when it all came out. I told you nobody would get hurt. Especially not you. I'll always protect you, Amy. Just like you've always protected me. Very protective and very loved. Because I have the finest brother to ever walk God's green earth, and I am proud the world knows it. I won't be able to ask. Anything. I want Lucinda in my wedding. She's our sister. She's our sister. Major John Hancock on this. Okay, what is it? Contracts for Bellman Inc. Oh, Scott was working on that. He got us a real good deal, too. Good, I'm glad to hear that. Ah, he is very capable. Huh? He was very capable. Couldn't agree more. Then why'd you give him such a hard time? I wanted to let him know I was there. I don't think he disappeared because of anything I said. Ho, ho, ho. Any news? Not that I know. I really find it difficult to operate without a newspaper, without a television station. I have no way to plug into the latest news. Should I buy a newspaper? I don't think so. When I left Walsh, the City Times was losing money by the bucketful. Oh, really? I'm not surprised, though. It's getting very conservative lately. Well, Connor believes in a kinder, gentler form of journalism. I'll get copies of these right out. Ah. <sighs> Dr. Dixon's here to see you. Are Is you in or out? Oh, God, I don't care what he wants. Tell him to come in. Hello. Hello. Um, uh, uh, why? To what do I owe the honor of this visit? Oh, Neil Alcott. Scott Elders, I wondered how you were holding up. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm working. I'm working. You know me. I just find it very difficult. I mean, I'm getting used to the idea that uh, who would kill such a very nice, nice lady? It just, I don't know, sometimes it makes me feel I don't understand how the world works. Yeah, yeah. Had you any idea that she was Royce's sister? No, I had no idea about anything, and they're so unlike each other, and I just, it bothers me that she didn't tell me that they were brother and sister, you know what I mean? But I'm okay, so don't worry about me. Okay, I just want you to know my thoughts are with you. I thank you. All right. Be good. Okay. Todd Hoffman is here, Lucinda. Oh, okay. Royce Keller is here. Yeah, um, he can come in. What can I do for you? Uh, Mr. Keller asked me to drop off the final blueprints on the tower. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that he customarily, doesn't he do that himself personally always? Actually, it's not a very good time for him right now. Oh, of course I understand that. Is he still in seclusion at his house? No, he's on the site today. He wanted to keep busy. Really? Really? 